let me introduce you to a different type of fin called shin fin. As the name indicates, the fin is placed on your shin, as opposed to your foot as normal fins. Let me show you how this is done. Before you begin, you should make the fins wet to help the rubber band go through the slits. If you notice, there's two slits on each side of the fin. The manufacturer was kind enough to put one strap in for you already, so you're halfway there. So slip the fin on, where you have the free slits on the inside of your leg. Slip the rubber strip through the outside slit and tighten it nice and snug so it's holding on your foot. Make sure you don't tighten too much so you can still use your foot. Then once it's nice and snug, place the outside rubber tip in the inside slit and pull hard. Then once all the straps are adjusted, even the fin on your front leg, where the bottom of the fin is right above your toes. The take the fins off is much simpler. Place your thumb on the inside slit. There is a nice arrow to show you where. Press down and pull quite hard on the rubber strap. This will force the strap to slide out and you can take the fins off. It shouldn't take more than 5 to 10 seconds. And here you can see the fins in action. Notice how the legs float nicely at the surface. The knees have a very slight bend and the kick starts from your hip. The unique shape of the fin also makes it much tougher to kick up in the up kick. So you're strengthening your whole leg. And here you can see the fins in action during the butterfly stroke. Notice how there is only a slight knee bend and the legs are very close to the surface. I hope you enjoy the introduction to the shin fin leg fins. For a more thorough review of the fins and more information on how to use them to spice up your swimming, Go to the blog at blog.swimator.com.